Hey everybody, what's going on? Thanks for swinging by, I sure do appreciate it. If this is your first time with the channel, my name is Mark. Oh, hi Mark. Welcome to Fit and Fire. Let's get into this video. Once again, we're out at the range. A huge thank you to American Cash Exchange for allowing me to come out to the range and uh, just be able to provide content for you guys. It is a huge help that American Cash Exchange is supporting the channel in that way. So if you're in the Manhattan, Kansas area, Swing on by, check them out, tell them Fit and Fire sent you, be greatly appreciated. We're back at it trying to kill, break, whatever, the uh, pumpernickel from G-Force Arms. So far, so good, it has been holding up really, really well. Today, we're gonna run another 50 shells of high brass uh, of various different shot through this to see if we can continue to try to break this shotgun. So far, uh, nothing has stopped it. One of the things that was pointed out in the comments of a previous video on the pumpernickel was that uh, I should not be shooting shells, uh, slugs through this rather. And uh, <laughs> I did some research of my own and they're absolutely 100% correct. Because this barrel is a modified choke barrel, uh, I should not be using slugs through this. We've got about 75 slugs through it and it has still held up. So I don't suggest you guys do that, but uh, I will say that uh, it does show that this will take a beating for sure. So with that being said, we're gonna go ahead and jump right into it. It is extremely windy, so I'm sorry for that, you guys. We've got a new mic set up. Hopefully that's helping a little bit, but uh, we're gonna jump right into it with some five shot high brass and go from there. So let's see what happens. So that's first 25 of that five shot. I'm gonna switch over to these three inch uh, coyote magnum loads. And I've got 20 shells of this and then we're gonna cap it off with uh, five shells of some four buck. All right, so uh, 20 shells of those three inch Coyote Magnums, and now we're gonna switch to Federal uh, Power Shock. This is a number four buck. Uh, so we got five rounds of this. We'll see what happens. Those packed a wallop, let me tell you. A lot more recoil than those three inch Magnum coyote loads that I was just shooting. So uh, there you have it. Another 50 shells through the pumpernickel. That puts us over 
500 shells and it just keeps on trucking. So with that being said, we are going to go ahead and start looking at some other specialty shots. Uh, maybe some short of uh, the mini shells rather. Uh, we will go ahead and do a nice video for you guys to show the wear and tear, wear and tear after 500 shells and then uh, do some nice cleanup on this, tighten up the uh, forend here and then run some more stuff through it. So there is what you should expect from a G-Force Arms GN P3N Pumpernickel after 500 shells. It has done what it's supposed to do, even though I have kind of abused it a little bit in shooting some slugs through it when I probably shouldn't have, but it just keeps on ticking. So uh, good on G-Force Arms. And there you have it. So with that being said, I really do appreciate you guys swinging by the channel and supporting us. Everything that you guys do, your comments, your likes, your shares is extremely important to the channel. If you wouldn't mind, share this out with your friends and uh, let them see what we're doing out here at Fit and Fire. I would really, really appreciate that. That being said, that's all we got this time. We'll get out of here. Thank you so much. As always, freedom through strength. Catch you guys later. Bye, y'all.